If you want to turn yourself into a character, then you can use the Characterizer option inside of Adobe Character Animator. So to do that, I'm going to go to File right here, and then I'm going to click on Open Characterizer. So over here, what you can do is you can create a new capture, and then it'll access your webcam, as you can see right there. So what you have to do is you have to go around and align uh, uh, align your face. So I'm just going to go around and align the face right here, just like this. So it has to be on the oval right over here, just like this. So I'm just going to go around and start the capture. Look at the camera lens and make a neutral expression in three, two, one. Close your eyes in three, two, one. Open your eyes and smile in three, two, one. Frown in three, two, one. Make a surprised expression in three, two, one. Repeat after me, Adobe. Adobe. Photoshop. Photoshop. Lightroom. Lightroom. Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! So now you can see that as I did the things that Character Animator guided me to do. So you can see that it captured a few images that I can use. So it's processing it out right here. So out of the words that I say, you can see that it uh, captures out all of the things right here. So what I can simply do is I can continue. So over here, you can see that now uh, it has detected my face and everything else. And you can see my face right there. So what you can do is you can choose one of the style right here. So I'm just going to go around and let's say I'm going to choose this one. So what it does is it renders out the style as you can see that this is how it looks. So you can go ahead and choose the style you want right here and it renders that out. You can see that now I've been turned into a dog just like this. So I'm just going to go around and let's say I want to see myself as a sketch. You can see that that is how it seems as a sketch right there. And what you can go for this one right here, you can make yourself look like wood right here and so forth. So a lot of the things are here. So you just got to choose the one you like. So I'm just going to go around and choose uh, this one itself. So I want the sketch style. And over here on the top, you have some options. So you can go around with the stylization option. So you can go around and change the style. So you can go around, decrease this out right here or increase it, making, making it more look more like you or more like the character that you see right here. So I can go around and then change that around. So I'm going to make it look more like that. I can also increase out the facial exaggerations right here, just like that to get the caricature version. So you can go around, so there's no exaggeration right here. You can go around and then change around the exaggerations. So I'm just going to go around and change it out just like this. Maybe I want this one. You can go around and to give it more style, you can go for cycles as well. So you can see that it looks like that. So I'm just going to go around and turn off the cycle and over here you can increase out the quality by increasing out the resolution and then you can go for a higher quality as well. But I'm just going to keep it low because I want it to uh, actually have uh, like faster render. You can go for head only or yeah, you can turn that off so that you can see the body as well. But I'm just going to go around and go for the head turns as well because that is recommended if you turn the head then uh, this is recommended. So once you're happy with what you have, you can just generate the puppet right here. And what happens is that it generates out. You can see that the head dents are being generated as well, just like that. And all of the things are there. So there's the smile and everything, the frown and everything. So everything is being generated. So this might take some time. And uh, depending on your computer speed, uh, it'll process it out. So it is almost complete now, as you can see right there. And what happens is that it imports the artwork over there now. So there's the artwork. And now what you can do is here, you'll be able to see that there's the puppet. You can also see over here. Now what you can do is there's some blinks, so you can go press B. And that's how the character actually brings out and F for frown, as you can see right there. So there's a lot of things that you can do. So now I'm going to turn on my webcam right here and let me just go ahead and let me track it. You can see that uh, it actually tracks me out right here. I'm just going to turn this out as well. And as I speak, you can see that uh, the character speaks as well. The actor looks in different places. I can set the rest pose and I can rotate my head around and you can see that 
And now this is a totally new animation style right here. I can also go around with the eyebrows right here, as you can see. And this makes for a very good um, output, as you can see right here, creative one. And that is how you can work around with the character riser option inside of Adobe Character Animator. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.